Just roll. What do you think about that? Do it. I have to stop that. Hey everyone, this is Sean Smith and welcome to the How to Get Coaching Client series, specifically for new coaches. And in this episode, we're gonna talk about networking. Hi. So one of the best things you can do as a brand new coach is to get exposure. And there's no other better way, I think, than face-to-face, belly-to-belly exposure. So I want you to go out and look into different ways you can network in your local community. I would definitely suggest you look into a company called BNI, Business Network International. The reason I really like BNI is because there's a huge focus on education. So it's not just, you know, hey, let's get together and have breakfast or lunch or dinner or whatever. It's they actually educate you on how to network or what's new in business and all kinds of really good things that are just beyond the connection. But the purpose of a good networking group is really for local business owners to come together, get to know each other, get some exposure and pass referrals. So if you join a BNI group or something similar to that, then you could be the only coach in that group and you could educate people you can get a bunch of practice usually they'd let you give a presentation on your business and what's coming up and little 30 second commercials and so forth so even if you don't get a big windfall of business just the practice itself and the education is worth it and another really cool resource nowadays is called meetup meetup.com just like you're meeting somebody like if you're really interested in horses you can just type in meetup.com type in you know horse lovers in and type in your city and it'll give you a bunch of groups that might be focused on horses so it's really cool to come together again the idea is that you just practice getting to know people expand your exposure and then the final one is Check into any of the local business organizations, such as a chamber of commerce. A lot of times they put together business networking events, maybe once a month, once a quarter. Same kind of idea. All the business owners get together. They just go out and they just meet each other. You can shake people's hands. You can practice what you say. You can tell people what you do and judge the responses. Again, the practice is worth the effort in my opinion. So when you're brand new, it's really important to just get out there, practice what you're saying get some people knowing who you are they'll have some referrals for you and we'll get your business in motion so if you want more information on this click the link below it'll take you to our coachesupdate.com blog and you'll have a resource list of some of my favorite networking groups for you to look into and other opportunities within your local area to get more coaching clients so if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and also if you want more tips on how to get coaching clients, look at the other videos in this How to Get Coaching Client series. I'll talk to you real soon. Even if you don't get a whole windfall of, uh, of, of, uh, uh, uh. So, so even if you don't, I should, I should pause a little bit more. Somebody's talking. I'll take care of it.